Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. As you may know, over the past few days you guys have been um, pouring in comments for the uh, audio equipment vlog because we were looking at buying new audio equipment. Um, there was a lot of interesting information that we received, there was a lot of helpful information we received, um, and there was one individual who actually emailed me and said, hey, I actually have a lot of these, these microphones, I have a lot of audio equipment, I know a lot about it, if you want I can make you a video explaining um, the differences and things like that. So I was like, yeah, do that. Um, so this person who is the Zeus Rocker on YouTube actually made like this half hour video explaining everything, showing the differences um, on the mics and how they sounded and things like that. So the comments were super helpful um, and the comments were pushing me in the direction of the AT2020. Um, and then the Zeus Rocker also had an AT2020 in addition to some of the other mics. And uh, with his, his, his video kind of pushed me over the edge and I was like, all right, we're getting the AT2020. So um, big shout out to him and also everyone who commented um, and helped us out in deciding on equipment. So, with that in mind, we ordered equipment, which is exciting. But, I need to install Yosemite. If you, uh, I don't know if you guys recall, but I actually ordered <laughs> a solid state. And it's been on my, uh, my desk for like two months now. And uh, I've wanted to move over to Yosemite. And I just have not had a chance to do it. So today I said, I gotta do it. If this stuff's going to be here in a few days, I need to get Yosemite on here because I, I really want to, I want this equipment to kind of force me to use the new operating system. So I sat down today, I got the computer all cleaned up and cleaned out. We've got it sitting here and I've, um, I've uh, taken the, the, can of, the can of air and, and sprayed it all out. And uh, I got the, the drive in there and I was like, man, how am I going to hook this up? Because the, where I have my, my power is not, it just doesn't line up well. <laughs> Is, is the easiest way for me to, to explain that. It doesn't line up well and there's not really a good spot for it. And then I realized it didn't, it didn't actually matter because I now have seven SATA devices in here and I only have six SATA ports on my motherboard. And maybe there's an easy way around that and I'm just not thinking of it, but um, I decided that I would probably just unplug my Blu-ray player. Or disc, my, my Blu-ray writer. Did you know that I have a Blu-ray writer? It's not been getting a whole lot of use. I was using it for a while to burn um, content off, but we moved over to an external hard drive a while back, so since then I don't know if I've actually used my disk drive like at all. I, I remember I had to put in The Sims when I played The Sims, but otherwise I've, I haven't used it whatsoever. So I'm going to unplug that for now. Um, at some point in the future I probably won't need one of these extra drives in here, and then I can plug the Blu-ray player back, back up, but uh, I'm going to get that all plugged up. And then hopefully the process of installing Yosemite is not that bad. So I got it hooked up and I got Unibeast in there. And uh, honestly, no boot flags whatsoever. It just came right up. It's like, hey, I work. Do you want Yosemite? And I was like, yes. So now it's installing Yosemite. We'll see if I'm able to boot back into it because that could be an issue. But right now it's working with no boot flags whatsoever, which is exciting. Sometime later, Yosemite installed without a hitch. I was expecting sound to not work, and sound did not work. Ethernet actually worked out of the box, which was interesting. And I installed my uh, audio kext, and then I restarted, and then neither audio nor <laughs> Ethernet worked, and I was like, that's weird. So then I, I had an Ethernet kext that had worked before, so that one fixed it. And then I've spent like the last two hours trying to get sound working, and I could not for the life of me figure out why it wasn't working. And what's odd is that I don't know how I got it working because um, there's a specific Kex which is matched to the motherboard. It's the, the chipset that my audio uses, which was Realtek ALC898. And I was like, cool, that is what I need to use. Blur, And it never worked. And I was like, why is this not working? So I went online and started researching it. And whenever they moved to, in some cases Mavericks, but in other cases Yosemite, a lot of stuff that was working before just stopped working. The Kex that were working just don't work. Um, so for whatever reason, that was the case, so I started researching it. And there was a bunch of different things that people had suggested, this and that, well, whatever. And I was trying a bunch of them, and uh, in that process, I was like, you know what? I think I should just update to the latest version of OS X before I get too far into this. So I did. I must not have retried my original Kext after that. That's, got, that's the only explanation. I must have just continued to try stuff without trying that original Kext, because when I went back to the first thing that I did, it worked. And it didn't work before. And, and for the record, um, I was not getting any audio devices. I don't know if anyone will end up watching this who has the same uh, motherboard I have. I have the Gigabyte 
uh, Z77X UP5TH, um, which is, I guess at this point, a little dated, but it still works well for, uh, for my needs. Um, anyway, I found a topic that had a command that you run through terminal that should definitely fix it, so I saved it, and if something happens with my audio down the road, I guess I'll run that, but it's working. I am not 100% sure why. I'm just, I'm guessing that I didn't rerun it after I updated, but whatever. Anyway, um, I think everything's functional. I'm going to continue to play around with it, and assuming everything is good, um, I'm going to probably get the monitors figured out next to make sure that I can use my monitors. And when I was on Mountain Lion, I never had HDMI audio working. So that's going to be my next step, is I want to be able to send audio from the computer to the TV and have it come out the speakers, because that's something that we use all the time, and it comes out of my computer speakers, and it's really lame. So let's see if I can get that far. There we go. Okay. Um, so we've hit two monitors. Let's see if we can go for three. Now one, two, and three. No setup was required for any of these, by the way. I just had to plug them in. Now to get HDMI audio working, hopefully, which is something I've never had. So my HDMI audio situation was a little peculiar because I didn't want the audio to come out of the HDMI port on the motherboard. I wanted it to come out of the one on the GPU. Uh, just for the fact that I am showcasing this right now with the GPU, not the motherboard. The motherboard also has an HDMI port, but I never set it up. I never set it up on Mountain Lion. And uh, from what I understand, there's something I have to adjust in my BIOS to make it work. I'm not into doing that. I don't want to touch the BIOS with a 10-foot pole because everything works and I don't want to mess with it. Um, so I've always used the, GP, the GPU's HDMI port, so I wanted audio to come out of that. So I looked around and some strange post on Mac Rumors from like two or three years ago, um, some user was like, I have made an HDMI audio kex that just works. And I was looking at the replies, there's like a thousand replies, and everyone's like, oh my god, this worked for me, this worked for me, this worked for me. And obviously these people have different setups, I'm like, wow, that's crazy. So I downloaded it. Guess what? For the first time ever, I have an HDMI option in output. I have never had that before, and this is not coming from the motherboard on the HD 4000. It's coming out of the uh, GPU, and if you're curious, I have a GTX 670, which at one time was really great, and now it's a little old. So, I'm going to click a video here on YouTube, and if it comes out of the uh, TV, because there's no, there's no device controls for the computer, you have to control it on the TV. I have the audio on the TV up. If I click this, and it works, there's an ad. But it's coming out of the TV, isn't it? It is. Oh my god, yes! That's exciting. I know it's kind of dumb, but like I've never had HDMI audio, and it's a big deal because anytime we watch a YouTube video, I generally throw it up on the screen from my computer, but it always comes out of my speakers. And now for the first time ever, it comes out of the television, and that is really, really awesome. At this point, I think pretty much everything is working. The next big thing is um, I'm going to have to get the other drives plugged back up and make sure that my installations play nicely because I need Mountain Lion and Yosemite plugged up at the same time because I am going to be doing all the new projects on Yosemite but I have a lot of old projects to finish up on Mountain Lion so I'm going to be booting into both often until I get the old projects done and then everything will shift over to Yosemite so I guess it's time to open the box back up plug everything up once again and then hope that it works Okay, so I just opened it up, replugged in all the drives. I don't have anything extra hooked up yet. Like, I don't have any of my USB devices that'll come after. But I have all of the other internals hooked up. Sans, you know, my Blu-ray drive, which there's not enough room for. Let's power this thing on. And because the Yosemite drive is in SATA port zero, it is my belief that it will just boot into Yosemite, which is obviously what I'd like it to do. By default, it's loading into Yosemite, and when it gets into Yosemite, it should just work. Okay, so still working? Actually, no. Oh, it's because we're on HDMI audio. If we switch back to built-in, my, my speakers aren't on. Everything's trying to freak me out right now. There we go. Okay, so this worked. 
go into Finder, we can actually see the other drives here. So they are here, so that's good. Now we're going to try to boot into Mountain Lion. All right, so when Yosemite goes to load, I can hit a button and it'll bring up this little menu. So we've got Yosemite System Reserve, which is nothing. Windows, which I don't think I've ever been able to, to load from um, Chimera, but whatever. And Macintosh. So let's hit Macintosh and see what happens. And there it goes. It is working. It uh, booted right up into the old installation, which, I mean, it should have, but... I don't know, man. Sometimes with the Hackintosh stuff, like, I just don't trust it. I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, in a, in a normal computer, in a normal Mac, in a normal Windows, in a normal installation of Linux, yeah, everything should be fine. And Hackintosh, I don't know. I like the, the new volume up-down sound in Yosemite, though, because this is kind of like... It's kind of like a wet fart, honestly. So I'm kind of glad that they changed that. Anyway, cool. This is working, so I can jump into Mountain Lion whenever I need to work on old stuff. I can switch over to Yosemite when I'm working on new stuff. Awesome. Now, I'm just going to plug up the rest of my stuff while in Yosemite and make sure I can get everything else working. I want to make sure my webcam will work. Um, probably try out the microphone port just to see if I can get everything working. And then once the, uh, once the audio equipment gets here in a few days, I'll be able to try out all of that as well. But for right now, things are looking pretty good. Sometime later, it works. It works. It's it's great. It's taken me all day. It's just near as a hair, 8 p.m., but it works. And I've done a really good process of migrating stuff. I haven't uh, migrated all my files, obviously. Um, but I, I tested stuff. I tested the microphone. Microphone works. Speakers work. Um, webcam works. Uh, the printer's working. Uh, I got my my backup drives connected. I'm not backing up this installation, which is also an incentive to hurry the heck up on, on getting rid of the old one, um, because in the meantime I will not be backing this up. But I get everything moved over, I got all of the import software that I needed installed. Um, I moved over like all of my bookmarks and stuff from my browser, so like, things are looking good! It's pretty great! Any new projects are going to be started here on this uh, Yosemite installation, and uh, I'm happy about it. I'm very happy about it. It's um, it's nice. I've wanted to do this forever. It's nice to finally have it done. And I will have more trial and error and stuff um, whenever we get the audio equipment, um, but that will be for another day. For now, it's taco time. So I'm going to have some tacos and then get to bed. Um, and there will be more stuff to do. Actually, no, I can't get to bed. We have to record the Mewtwo thing tonight. Mewtwo came out today. Fun fact for Super Smash Brothers. So that'll be out tomorrow. Um, but then to bed. And I'll be filled with tacos. It'll be awesome. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? His hands fly off. And like he's also got that one weapon where like his hands come down and he shoots like, I don't know, pecans out of his, out of his wrist. Like, you know? Did you liberate your money from our friend? I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time, with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us, and we'll be broken again. <laughs>